Hey everybody. It is Saturday morning and this is my 125 gallon tank. We're looking at my Tenopoma acutorostra. Spotted African leaf fish is its common name or one of its many many common names. Uh, but that is not the point of the video. The point of this video is I just want to talk about uh, YouTube and what has been going on with YouTube. I really really go out of my way to make sure I respond to everybody as best I can. Uh, sometimes it'll be a mere thumbs up or something like that just to sort of acknowledge that I've seen your comment. But I do at least like to try to acknowledge that I've seen your comment. If not, directly respond to it, you know, with an actual statement. However, I can only respond to your comment if I know it's there. And I don't know what's been going on with YouTube lately, but my comments have not been showing up or I haven't been getting notifications for them uh, regularly at all. I, you know, YouTube has always missed the odd notification from time to time. But the last couple of weeks I've noticed that after I put a video out, I'll see, you know, half an hour later, I'll see that I got a comment and I'll go check. And when I get there, there's nine comments or seven comments or whatever. And none of them or none of the others, I should say, ever showed up on any kind of notification. I never got a um, notification in my Gmail or a notification on my Google Plus account. And, of course, I never got the notification on the YouTube itself. So I'm not really sure what's going on uh, with the notifications, but I just wanted to sort of reaffirm to everybody that I really do try to respond to everybody. I really do try to get back and answer questions, and, you know, if you just make a comment that doesn't really require a response necessarily, as I said, I at least like to give the old thumbs up or something, uh, just so you know that I've seen your comment, and I'm not ignoring you. So... You know, take that for what you will. I still feel that way. I still will uh, respond if and when I see the comment. Uh, even if I don't stumble across the comment for months and months, I still will get back to the person and apologize that it's been so long, but I'm just now seeing this comment. Um, so that may be the case for a while. If you're commenting and it suddenly seems like I'm ignoring you or something, uh, that is not the case at all. I'm really having trouble getting my notifications from YouTube. I'm not really sure what's going on with that. Now, I know YouTube does make improvements and changes and adjustments uh, all the time. Uh, a good example is when I first started shooting YouTube videos, if I used this camera, which is my phone, when I go to the YouTube Creator Studio, I can stabilize the video. They have a stabilization uh, option there to enhance your video. A couple of years ago, when I would use that option, it was better than my shaky hand, you know, holding the camera, bouncing all over the place. But it also made the video look really strange. It looked like you were simultaneously drunk and underwater. Everything was all like swimmy and squishy looking. It was really strange looking. And it does not do that at all anymore. Um, I have certainly learned that I can help with the stabilization by holding the camera as steady as possible. Uh, I don't know why. It always kind of irritates me when I watch people's YouTube videos and they seem to be unaware of the fact that they're holding a camera while they're talking and they're just bouncing it all over and pointing it at the floor and the ceiling. And, you know, if you're filming something, try to remember you have a camera in your hand and point it at the subject you're talking about and hold it as still as possible. Those are my pointers for how to shoot better videos remember you're holding a camera while you're shooting the video so anyway if I hold the camera as still as possible that certainly helps with the stabilization but the stabilization uh, algorithm or whatever they use to do that now is much much better than it used to be and you still get a little bit of odd um, you know swimmy looking effect here and there like little swirly motions or something but it's not nearly like it used to be now the one problem I do have with the stabilization, and I'm not quite sure why that is, and we're going to come look at this tank for a minute. This is my 125-gallon uh, native tank, even though there are fish in there that are non-native, like this Mayan cichlid right there. And then, of course, this big yellowfish here is the spotted tilapia from West Africa, so that is certainly not native to around here. But... I also shoot video on a Canon Vixia HFR50 camcorder, and that's got a much um, higher frame rate, or I've got it set to a higher frame rate. I've got my phone here set to 30 frames per second, whereas my camera 
is 1080, um, I think it's 1080p at 60 frames per second. So I don't know why that should make a difference. I can understand it should take longer for the video to stabilize. It's obviously got more data to work with and you know, so on and so forth. That's just kind of common sense. But for some reason, when I use my video camera, I don't, I'm not able to stabilize it with the YouTube stabilization. Now the video camera itself has a stabilizing program in it and it really does help as I hold the camera to stabilize it but you can still tell it's just somebody hand holding a camera. The only place that really comes into play for me and a really good benefit is when I'm really really zoomed in uh, even your heartbeat the tiniest little uh, movement of your hand can send the screen going everywhere but with my stabilization on my camcorder, it really, really cuts back on that. And I can do really, really super tight zooms without bouncing around all over the place. However, if I do that, I'm making the trade-off by not being able to stabilize it once it gets to YouTube. And it can only be as stabilized as the video camera will stabilize it. So there's trade-offs either way. I uh, don't really know what was inspiring me to talk so much about the YouTube this morning. Mainly, it's just my concern that I'm going to have people thinking that I'm being rude to them and not responding or just ignoring their comments. Um, I know a lot of people are like that. A lot of people put a video out and they put it out as though it's some sort of television station and the viewers are free to discuss it or whatever, but it's, you know, it's like out of the... You know, it's out of the, the producer's hands. It's out of the creator's hands once they put it out there. And it's just up to other people to have a comment or a conversation underneath of it. And I don't see it that way at all. I see these as my videos. I've got a... I would definitely say it's time to get that Mayan cichlid out of the tank here. But I see these more or less as my videos and, you know, for, for me to put these videos out there, it's almost but not quite the equivalent. There's some crayfish action going on here too. This is some serious drama. So you never know what you're going to get when you just pick up a camera and start filming and chatting about whatever's on your mind. As long as you're pointing a camera at a tank, something interesting could happen. All right, I definitely am going to need to start working on getting that Mayan cichlid out of here. These Mayan cichlids are also known as false red terrors. So if you're familiar with the red terror cichlid, uh, then you should be pretty familiar with the behavior of this Mayan cichlid. It's pretty much similar, hyper-aggressive. They're not named terror for nothing. At any rate, I see my videos as my videos, and these are no different really than inviting you into my fish room as my guest to share in my hobby and share in my fish tanks. I don't, I sort of shoot the video with kind of the mentality of if I had some company here in the room with me and I was just chatting about whatever or explaining whatever, uh, I approach it more or less the same way. So, the same way I'm not going to simply ignore somebody that's sitting in the room with me and asking me a question. I just, I can't imagine why so many people simply ignore questions. I gave up asking questions to people on YouTube a long time ago because they simply get ignored. Uh, you might get lucky and another viewer might answer your question or whatever, but the person who put the video out generally just ignores you um, if you ask them a question or make a comment or something. So I don't operate like that. I really do see this as my fish room and you're my guests and this is a little community if you will. We're all hanging out here in the fish room together and I don't see any reason for anybody to be rude to anybody or there's no, you know, this is supposed to be a friendly uh, community full of aquarium enthusiasts. So why would I not respond to people? Anyway, I feel like I'm rambling on about the whole getting back to and responding people. That's just always been one of my pet peeves about uh, YouTube is the way people just sort of ignore uh, commenters on their posts. So if I seem like I'm ignoring you, I want to get back to that, which was my original point. I'm not. It is because YouTube has not been giving me notifications lately. I'm not sure why, but they haven't. And, you know, like I said, make what you want of that. When I do see the notifications, I will definitely get back to you as best I can. That is my 
Synodontis petricola we don't get to see too terribly often. It's out and about a lot, but it moves around a lot and does exactly what it just did. We see it and then it vanishes and then we see it and it vanishes. So it's hard to really get good solid video of that fish. And whenever I see it out and about swimming around, I always try to focus the camera on it for a little while because it surely is a beautiful catfish. So that's about it. I'm going to wrap it up. Just a little Saturday morning ramble, a little chat about the channel. I got probably a round the world update coming up here real soon i feel like i've done a bit of work here in the fish tank and i mean in the fish room and it's time to go around and get everybody updated on what's been happening in here so make sure you're subscribed and you won't miss that you won't miss any of these little oddball off the cuff things i do because i do these quite frequently um or anything else i've got coming up so thanks again for watching uh this here is my angel fish tank so i hope you enjoyed see you real soon in the next one